Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave back. I'm Calvin. Eric. Aaron. And we're back with Community. Last time on Community, what did we have? <laughs> I didn't no, even no, do anything. No. That was like three seconds after I hit the button. What the fuck? You saw it happen and you. <laughs> oh, they're redoing the. Uh, I haven't seen Starburns in a long time. Alex? I hate empty cups. If the good Lord wanted you to have a penny, you'd have one. Pierce. Pierce? Your guest has arrived. Threat level four. Oh my god, it's so. It's not calibrated. Wireless racism. Oh my god. I'm talking about the whole reason you came here to start a business. Hmm. Sandwiches. What do you think, Shirley? She is a baker. I had loved you ever since there was the Soviet Union and only one day wins. Aww. For you, Shirley Bennett, marry me and Andre Bennett again. Yes, yes, again! Huh. Wait, where's the ring? Pierce is behind it. It's not calibrated, Calvin. You can not to his friends. Choose. Yeah, right? You need to be able to choose which races, the ones you want to let in and the ones you don't, I guess. It's cool that Andre and Shirley are getting married again. There's a whole generation of viewers that didn't get to see the original. Viewers mm. so, yeah. <laughs> who didn't get to see the original. Mm. If I had to rank them, uh, I'd go fourth, seventh, second, fifth, first, third, sixth. He's thought about that. No, You're anti-wedding now? No, she's just pro-anti. No to everything you both said. <laughs> she's pro-anti. No to everything you both said. Somebody tell Britta what an analogy is. I know what it is. It's like a thought with another thought's hat on. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just nut up and die alone. Mm. Hello! Oh my god, I'm so happy! So happy! <laughs> Every time I see a wedding idea I like, I put it in a little scrapbook. <laughs> How big is a scrapbook? That have with you. Yeah. Be sure to get a DNA reading of your prospective mate. Inspector Spacetime ended up marrying himself as a baby. I think about this. Everyone just come and... He marries a baby? Why would he marry a baby? Oh. 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 What? That's the noise that people make when they're offended in all the movies that Annie rents. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Pierce. I'm way too busy for that now with the wedding and everything. Bye bye, everybody. I have to practice my walk. <clears throat> uh oh. It's Britta saying that she can't have a business because she's busy with getting married. The trouser bench. Hmm? I must have one. What? <gasps> Will somebody please call all the ambulances? All of them? <laughs> <laughs> just, just show up wearing boring gray suits. With gray ties and gray shirts. We could dye our hair gray, and then we could lay down on the sidewalk and be invisible. You know, maybe Shirley's got a point. A full 24 hour weird down in the dreamatorium. Just that would be you. weird. Can I walk home? Yeah. Mm. All right. Man, I love doing that shit. Home? Well, they just in the dorm here, right? It is such a good Oh, no, they're not. Out. They're not in the dorm. I will plan your wedding for you. <laughs> she hates weddings. <laughs> She's still laughing. Oh, <laughs> that was a really good cut. I was serious. <clears throat> what are you up then, my wig? <laughs> Stand over a minute. Shirley, uh, Hawthorne wife's fired me. <gasps> Whoa. He's too much money. It's just a kid with a bunch of money. Dropping it. We don't call anything by its name. That's like day one floral school stuff. This is citrine. This is opalescent. This is Sea Glass, Cameo, and Cerulean. So Cerulean City. Stick a ribbon on it. Happy? She's amazing. Mm. Bird nesting. <laughs> what? It's their weird out happening in there. <laughs> They're wearing the wig. Let's change into something appropriate for the occasion to be on our way. I agree. <laughs> Try no. not it being normal. Oh no, this is weird. <laughs> These boobs. Come on, lay on the boobs. And provide the campus with a higher percentage of the profits. Here's what it makes Vending machines are 87 percent. There's a dean with all the money. <laughs> Here's a pen. Thank you. <laughs> hey, so far it looks like it's going good. It worries me a little bit though. Britta, you're really good at this. I know. <laughs> She's upset. What's with you guys? We do whimsified ourselves. Yep, we're normal now. 
We're normal. He now. sounds so weird. <laughs> Nothing's more important to us than your second wedding's rehearsal going smoothly. Walk away, man. They don't know how, don't know how to be normal. Webster's Dictionary defines. Stop! Stop! Yeah, that's not good. That took me eight hours and six McCallanitzes. Look, I'm sorry, I just don't believe in marriage. I do. It's inevitable. <laughs> the dean loved our pitch. Your pitch. Woman, I've been waiting for you for two hours. Oh, two no, hours. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Don't you dare use your sexy voice on me. Is that her sexy oh. voice? I gotta get back to my stereo business. You know my story. Mm. <clears throat> That's what he's wanting. Well, if we can't get back to the way things were, why the hell are we getting remarried? Uh, damn, Andre. Thought it was all love. He shrimp are to die for. <laughs> he, he doesn't know what to do. Walk the plank. I think you've mistaken us for pirates. We are community college students. Things be fun. What if once you go from being weird to normal, you can never go back to being weird again? That is not thought. Did they grew up? They never go back to being kids? My daddy said he would stay with my mommy forever, and he left. Mm. Marriage is a lie. You expect anyone here to believe that? I don't care if anybody believes it, jackass. It's a fact. Prove it, ding dong. Oh no, are they gonna get married? I promise to play your dreams. Oh no. On. What about babies? What about them? How many? Pick a number, dick. Like it's up to me. <laughs> you two are damn fools. Oh, sorry. I'll allow it. <laughs> Do you promise to be patient when that person's stereo business takes a little while to get off the ground? I do, but you accept that ten years is more than a little while, and our cards aren't going away, and maybe it's time to let somebody else take the lead. Yeah, stereo business did not work out for you. No. Whatever. No. Leonard, <laughs> it's crying. <laughs> it's crying. You can kiss the bride, and you can save like uh, seventy bucks. Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> let's party. Party. And his boobs. <gasps> that was weird. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're not weird. He wants you to follow him. You're not weird. Don't go into the looking glass. Yeah. Don't do it. You have to go. Check out this dance. Uh, what did you Who's that girl? The Lindbergh Lean. What do they think of next? The Lindbergh Lean. Expect to space time. Oh, thank the cosmic engineer <clears throat> I found you. Troy, this is hardly the time. Or is it hardly the space? <laughs> what sort of creature would do a dance called the Lindbergh Lean? Blowguns. Blowguns? <laughs> Oh, God, patrol. Pop up, and his boobs. I have, they made a few calls and sold the space to Subway the Sandwich Place. What? I don't remember being invited to your wedding, so I guess we're even on the hurting each other front. <sighs> I'm a blast at weddings. But dang. Guess I better go break the news to Pierce. He's not gonna like this. Remember that temper tantrum he threw when Adam Sandler stole his idea for Jeff? I get it. You're underestimating. Jack and Jill, man. Look at me now, Dad. How's your taste? How many sandwich places did you have? <laughs> None! <laughs> Stop. Turn off. Push it up. Push it up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Oh, my God. He's fingering it. Oh, my God. Uh, he's making it worse. I will say this feels very Chevy Chase. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he keep grabbing another one? What's his plan? <laughs> he was stuck in ice cream. Well, does that mean that community got to the point where it needed some money and Subway's there to give it? I don't know. As long as you get some good old fashioned product placement. Do we get in the next episode and there's actually a Subway there? I mean, think about all the- Or do they all, find it? I, just, I can think about like at least five or six different shows that had a Subway season or two. Yeah. <laughs> the board went over my head. Yeah. <laughs> Even Cougar Town had one whenever it had all bed on it, right? They were at Subway. Yeah, Chuck, mm -hmm. right? Well, Chuck did it, and then we, we watched that image of uh, Cougar Town, too. Yeah. But yeah, I, I've, uh, man, there's a decent amount of them. Well, I guess we'll find out next time. Maybe. Marriage! Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, they got married. Yeah, they did. And they saved like 70 bucks. I mean, I'm glad that they like, in arguing why marriage was good, like, instead of like them focusing on arguing with each other. Yeah. Like they went and they're like, you know what? Yeah, 10 years a long time. Yeah. iPods aren't that popular. No. Stereos just, aren't that popular. Yeah. They just, watching from 2023, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't think the stereo business is gonna work very well. Everybody yeah. has a phone now. It's funny, cause like, I guess the age I am, like him saying like, you know, look at my stereo business. I didn't really think about it at all. But yeah. then when she said, it's been 10 years, I'm like, yeah. oh man, yeah, Stereos. maybe it's not doing that well anymore. Yeah. You know, like, 
You don't really see those. You don't see a whole lot of places that are typically like, I only do this, you know? A lot of those sure. places, it has to be very specific and do really well. Or, like, you can't just, you can't do a stereo business. You can't do, you can do batteries and toilet paper, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. But, places that I see that do stereos or anything like that, they also do something else as well. Yeah. You know, that's kind of tangentially related. Sure. Like, you know, the car stereo business, we do all kinds of, like, custom parts and stuff on your car as well as sound systems. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's, that's kind of the Even things you run into. just game Kilo Century aren't really a thing yeah. anymore, right? Mm-hmm. So, so Solely selling video games is, like... So many things are going digital now, you know. It's, Discless downloads. It's harder to have like pre-owned of any yeah. of that kind of stuff. So then they got to sell other things, collectibles. Yeah. And Shoot, back running. when you were working there, you were having struggles getting people to show up for like release day stuff, right? Sure. Like I, when I was leaving there, it was getting to the point of like now there's more digital stuff. It's moving to that age, and it's still almost there, you know. Yeah. Try a bed. Be normal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's pretty weird. It was I don't like weird. it. I don't like it either. What did Annie's boobs want? I don't know. He wanted to show him something. I yeah. really wanted it to be like a through the look. Because they talk about like yeah. once you go like normal, you can't go back being weird. And I was yeah. thinking of it being like once you become an adult, right? So many people were like, well, once you're an adult, you lose that childlike innocence yeah, or the sure. magic or the imagination or whatever it is. So then I'm like, maybe Annie's boobs and that vent represents like Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass kind of thing. Mm. The white rabbit. But then they just ignored it. They never went into it. And I'm like, Damn. well, I mean, it was like a... a call to to uh, Troy to like, hey, wait a minute. If I was being normal, which is weird, I would follow him right now, right? I need to, I need to get Abed. We need mm-hmm. to be normal and weird again. Yeah. Friend. What all was in, uh, what all was in Jeff's heart? You guys want to go back and look all at that? All the images? Yeah, let's look. Because it was Annie. There was Annie's boobs. <laughs> so I'm assuming it was like in his heart, like maybe like from yeah. lowest to highest or something. I don't know. Or like a, yeah. it seemed like a slot maybe, machine. Was yeah, maybe there like a random slot selection? Okay, so Annie. There was a blonde. There was a mansion. There was a car. There was Annie. There cell was a cell phone and a dog. Annie's boobs. Wait, who's that? Drink. T- who's that? Taylor Swift. That's, that's not Taylor. Swift. That's not Tay Tay. That's head. a redhead. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. By anybody. Do facial recognition technology on her Dude, face. I don't have that. You could take a picture and then you could put it through Google Lens. Yeah, that's oh, true. Man. Let me let me let the overlay go away. I should just get closer instead of trying to zoom in. Yeah, better image quality that way. That's usually what I do when I'm taking pictures of people. I know her. Is that Manny Moore? Maybe. You see her up close and then you recognize her. I don't know. <laughs> it's like turning your radio down when you're trying to see a house <laughs> number. <laughs> it's like, I can't read. It's too loud. It is. What? I had to do that when I deliver pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't concentrate. I know. It's, it's weird. Oh, That's when I decide I need to get glasses. Tap yeah. the shutter I button. The Wait, can I search a picture? Yeah, you, you can. It's Google Lens. I can just take a picture with this. This technology has been available to us for years. Never used it. <laughs> yeah, I don't use it a lot either. What we got, Aaron? I don't know. Any good? Stock photos. Yeah, that's... Hmm. Does not helping. It looks like it a red help. carpet picture or something. It, it does, kind of, yeah. All right, moving on. Well, I think that in his heart, he has a future in which he has a nice house, a dog, sure. the white picket fence, a really, really beautiful redhead lady that maybe could be like his mistress, and then Annie's his wife. Everyone just kind of, like, all of them are just, just a bunch of random things, right. and there's Annie. So it's weird, like, maybe, yeah, maybe they're all, like, stock images, because, like, that cell phone was, like, just, like, a stock yeah. cell phone thing, you know? Maybe they're just like random images, but Annie's in there. Annie's maybe, in there a maybe, lot. Maybe the idea is like there's a bunch of rich dreams, but Annie's also in his heart. Mm-hmm. I keep having Andrew Annie moves. and and Jeff have like these like I don't know these moments where like oh <clears throat> yep there's something going on pay attention here but yeah. yeah they do. I mean they've also <laughs> I didn't know had in the show <laughs> voiced your concerns about the age difference and their personality <laughs> types and yeah. How that could be a concerning What's relationship. What's their age difference? Let's keep bringing back that. I don't think it's like crazy, but there have been bigger age differences. Yeah, but she's older now. I don't know. It's, I feel weird saying that. <laughs> I've been Troy around the same age, 21, 22. Jeff's about 34, 35. Britt is a little younger than him, maybe like late 20s. And see, Annie's uh, uh, Troy was Annie's upperclassman. Right? Annie's 21. Yeah, so she's just a She would have been a year younger. Shirley's like 35 or so, about the same age as Jeff, and Pierce is in his 60s. Yeah. 
Troy, Abed, Annie, we'll just kind of say that they're all close to the same age. Like right? 21 or so. Yeah, and then everyone else starts getting older. Britta next, and then Jeff and Shirley, and then Pierce. Yeah. Maybe like a 10 to 15 year gap between Jeff and Annie, I suppose. Like, had Jeff already reached his midlife, midlife crisis? Like I mean, he was age. a lawyer, and now he's like, no, nah, I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> so sure. That, I mean, that is a crisis. <laughs> yeah, and he's in his midlife, I guess. It is. So the voice that Shirley does is her sexy voice? It is. Hmm. We know that now. So that's what she does? When she wants something. I, I feel like I need to go back thinking about this as being her sexy voice and just... And then compare it to, like, any sexy voice that we had last episode. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> What'd you guys think of the what was it? Metaphor or analogy? Mm-hmm. That, metaphor, oh, yeah. right? Metaphor. The thought with the, the another analogy, thought the analogy. Hat on it. Yep. Yeah. Does that work? A that thought that wearing another thought's hat. Yeah. Yeah. It's like related, but it's not. But it's borrowed its hat, so it applies, and I can be like, oh, I recognize that, but you don't because it's a hat and it's not the actual thing. So it's like when we compared like. The worm in Empire Strikes Back that's in the asteroid to like a worm in an apple. No. Yeah. No. That's an analogy. It's not it. How's that not? That's that's it. So Pierce got fired from Hawthorne Wipes. Mm-hmm. His I was wondering if it was gonna come back and be like, uh, he was lying, but no. He did. He was like, ha ha, dad, yeah. eat it. How many sandwich shops did you have? None! <laughs> <laughs> he has none. He just needs something over his daddy. Uh, that last scene though felt very Chevy Chase, like you guys ever watch like any of the National Lampoon like vacations? Watch the stuff? first one, European Vacation, Christmas Vacation, <clears throat> hell yeah, Vegas Vacation. Yeah, there's something happening as he's just chaotically. You, you, you see the in Vegas Vacation is a damn moment mm-hmm. where it's like leave the holes alone, leaks all the time. Yep, just leave them alone. He goes up, he's like, oh, puts a hole, puts his finger in one, then like another hole pops open. <laughs> He's like, puts one there, <laughs> pops up another one, takes his gum out, puts one there. He's just like putting holes there, like trying to. I'm like, why are you? Just leave it alone. Quit. Stop it. Like, just push that ice cream down. Quit <laughs> grabbing more ice cream cones. It's not helping. Right. Oh, my he, God. he has such a unique way of dealing with an awkward situation that it just works. Mm-hmm. When I worked at the pizza shop, man, I could stack one of those cones. Oh. Like, like that if I wanted to. Mm hmm. Especially when it's nice and cold and mm-hmm. the ice cream's really stiff. Mm-hmm. Well, they stack really well if you just keep. I mean, they're, they're, we put more cones and some more cones. Just stack them high. Good. Are you talking about like how you do the ice cream? Ice cream. You ice do cream. the. I can do the turn base one, but mostly it's that one. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. So you so you weren't as good with this one. You were better with this one. I think I'm pretty good with this one, but I would go to this every single time because mm-hmm. I mean, I guess the job done. Yeah, and you want to do it as quick as possible, get it over with. You, know? you can you can get something this long with just like six or eight pumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Customer left satisfied every time. Mm-hmm. Licking their lips. Got that cream all over their face. Yeah, you went too far. Thank you guys for watching this delicious episode of Community. If you want to see the next four episodes, you can right now at Patreon.com/slash/BlindWave and early access. Uh, Full length, I mean. Full length. You can you can watch the entire thing along with us. We're watching on uh, Netflix. Why are you throwing ice cream up in the air? <laughs>